Eric Haugen. There's my social media information. And by the way, check the description box below for information about guitars, pedals, amps, and things like that. Like my videos and subscribe to my channel if this content is enriching to your life. Helps me out when you do that. Today, we are talking about my... My True Fire course is now live. The, I believe it's called the Caged Edition of Guitar Zen. Uh, by the way, and also the affiliate link for that is below. If you purchase it through that link, it helps me out. All right, so what is it? <laughs> well, what is my course? What, what am I peddling here today? Well, what we got here, the eternal truth that I always point to or talk about in my videos, but also in, in my one-on-one -on -one lessons with um, students is, is, yo, it really is, at least for the genres of music that I play, rock, blues, indie, folk, country, funk, soul, R&B, like most stuff, it really comes down to everything is somehow a C chord, an A chord, a G chord, an E chord, or a D chord. And that also translates to, by the way, going up the neck. That's the short version of the cage system. And so what my course is all about is showing you that Okay, first of all, where those are in the open position, you know, how that's a C chord, of course. And then things like, but hey, if we want to build a really sturdy framework for seeing everything, like, yo, everything, every lick, every triad, every arpeggio, anything we ever are going to do, ultimately goes into those categories. So like I start with that, things like a C, and then I'm like, hey, by the way, there's C major pentatonic. And for the rest of your life, when you play this C chord, those notes are available to do fills, walks, runs, leads. And like the, the course deals with really simple things like that. It deals with open position, but then also grooves and how to work on that stuff like i talk about how important it is for us to have a concept of rhythm strum patterns like you know for example the pattern i call the ubiquitous and, and it'll show you things like okay do a bar of groove and then bar fill Like that's the simplest thing. And even that is actually deceivingly difficult for guitar players to do. And you want to know why? It's because guitar is typically thought like, thought like, taught like, okay, here's, you know, strum patterns or here's chords. Oh, and if you want to do a lead or a fill, it's like. Totally separate things where what I'm trying to do is make this thing where we can rewire it, where we can see that, that for every chord you ever play, there's the pentatonic scale right there and how to kind of deal with that, how to massage that into your brain. That is so my whole thing. And so my whole course is it's really dealing with that open position and then, you know, in positions up the fretboard, like, oh, here's a funky C minor. You know, okay, here's C minor. Here's C minor pentatonic out of this spot. Okay, here's a groove. I want that pickup. Like, this is what I do. Because when you get good at caged, like, the, what happens is 
I can grab the fretboard anywhere, plonk, and be like, uh, I want an E flat chord right here. Oh, say I want a D minor chord that's right behind it. A G minor? Oh, what about a B flat? What a B flat major seven? Oh, how about, let's do a random chord, F. It makes it so that we're in, con in control, we're in charge up here with where the chords, and then ultimately, yeah, where the scales are too. You know, here's E flat. And yeah, I also, by the way, I made sure in this course, I didn't only just do the pentatonic single notes, I'd go through all my, my little double stoppies. Because yo, for real, pentatonics, are the simplest version of things. They're the scale that was around before there was even music theory. And so that's why I really stress with my students that, hey, if we want a really sturdy understanding of, of what we can do with this instrument, let's do it caveman style. Let's build it up from pentatonics because I can't stress this enough how much everything is just a fancier version of that idea. That your, your, your major and minor scales are really just dressed up pentatonic scales. Your funky modes are really just mutated major and minor scales. So like if we want to know the instrument once and for all, pentatonics is, is the best way. And of course they sound good too. So, so yeah, this course, um, let me make sure I covered it. Yeah, it goes open position. Uh, pentatonics and fills. It goes up the fretboard, major and minor, cage shapes, pentatonics and fills, double stops, grooves also, you know, keeping track of, you know, some of my favorite grooves. So you get grooves, you get fills. <laughs> I know, I, I know I feel a little bit like a used car salesman right now, but hey, I don't usually do this. So I feel like I've earned, I've earned your trust. Um, and, <laughs> You know, I made sure that every little lesson, every segment had actionable and creative exercises with backing tracks. So that like, yeah, if you want to take lessons with me, but I'm too booked out, I was like, well, this is what, uh, this is like the equivalent of maybe six to eight lessons with me, which, you know, this is much cheaper than six to eight lessons with me. So it was my way of trying to solve that problem also of, of the booking. <laughs> Again, the little widget, uh, go to the description box um, below, and that'll take you to the little widget on my website. I do make a little bit more of the share if you click that way, but hey, however you want to purchase it is fine with me. Um, you know, tell True Fire I did a good job, they'll have me back. It was fun going down there. They're, they're, they're good people down there, really nice people, nice crew, nice space. And so again, thank you, by the way, you clicking like and subscribe, you generating, making my business known, giving me those numbers is what enables me to have these kind of opportunities. So it's not lost on me and I appreciate it. So it's a community, you know? Yeah, we're helping each other out here. So thanks so much. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday, eat pizza.